Hi, Chef Patrick here. Today we're going to make a pulled pork sandwich. I'm starting out with a four and a half pound piece of bone-in pork shoulder. I rub it liberally with my own blend of seasonings I like to use for pork. Once it's rubbed down, it's important to let those flavors penetrate into the meat, so let it rest three to four hours in the refrigerator. After the seasonings have penetrated into the meat, I like to put it on the smoker for just about an hour. It just adds another layer of flavor. When it comes out of the smoker, I'll put it in the oven uncovered and roast it for about another hour. After an hour of dry heat, it's time to add the liquids, cover it, and braise it for two and a half hours. This Staub three and a half quart brazer works perfect for this piece of meat. I like to turn the meat over about halfway through the braising process. Once it's done, let it rest for about 15 minutes, then remove it from the liquid. Once it's cool enough to handle, you want to remove the bone and then begin shredding the meat. You can either shred the meat by hand or use the two fork method. To make the sauce, I saute the onions and a little bit of the fat from the braising liquid. There's a ton of flavor in that. While the onions are sauteing, I'll add in the granulated garlic and the mustard powder. I'll let that saute to develop some flavors a little bit before I add in the liquid ingredients. I wait to add the brown sugar in until after I have some liquid in there so the sugar doesn't burn. Then I pour in the strained braising liquid. Now I let it simmer and reduce to thicken just a little bit. I then pour it into a blender canister and puree it to the consistency I like. You can either do it completely smooth or leave some particles of the onion if you prefer. When blending hot liquids, start out slow and gradually increase the speed. I left the cover off so you could see, but I would recommend using the cover. I like to pour just a little bit of the sauce onto the meat to keep it nice and moist. When I shred the cabbage to make the coleslaw, I like to use the Mayabi knives. The Japanese steel is so much thinner and works great for thin sliced vegetables. You can see how well that Japanese steel just slices right through these carrots, paper thin. Now that everything's in the bowl, I add a little bit of coleslaw dressing, mix it all up, and then adjust the seasoning. When making coleslaw, use a little less dressing than you think. It'll be perfect in an hour. When building a pulled pork sandwich, the classic preparation is a nice mound of pork on top of the bun bottom, coleslaw on top of that, and then sauce over top of the coleslaw. Put the top on it and enjoy. Oh yeah, make sure you got plenty of paper towels. See you next time.